My name is Keith Lopez. I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and this is my 1980 Fairmont wagon with a turbo 300 six-cylinder out of a F-150. This this particular one's a 68 or 69. I can't remember quite yet, but I have one from 65 and another one from 85 that I'm I'm building different levels. So back in 2011, Gary Putnam and I we put this car together with a single turbo, small block Ford, Yates-headed deal, ran Drag Week, and uh, it was a low eight second car. Went in 12 and 13, we, we kind of kept a similar combo. We changed a couple things up. And then after that, the uh, the car just sat for a while. I went heads up racing afterwards and then spent heads up racing for a little while and then was going four, four 70s with it. It was a blast, 155 in the eighth. And this car, I was super excited, you know, for just some guy from Wichita, you know, is having fun. I ended up selling my combination to the one and only Gavin Lusk that has the 69 Cougar Eliminator that does the drag and drives as well. It's the baby blue one. And so I sold it to him so I could start my chassis business uh, back in uh, 2021. So that helped out get tooling and everything. What made me want to put this motor in was I have a 1985 Ford F-150. We affectionately call him Buford Blue. He's patinaed, lowered, uh, had a six cylinder in it when I bought it. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna throw a turbo on it real quick. We did it over the weekend. I mean, it was a quick, quick deal. Uh, cast pistons, cast rings and everything. Went out, had a blast with it, and I was thinking, man, this thing runs. It was a blow through that I built. And I was like, man, it runs really well. So I put forged pistons in it and molly rings. And the forged pistons were old TRW pistons, the same pistons style. It's the same piston that's in this. I found them on eBay is all I did. This is a cheap build. So that truck ended up getting the forged pistons and then put all back together. And it's been running ever since 2013. And Bing Shift actually did a write up on it. It's been together uh, and even towed this car up to Kearney, Nebraska from Wichita. So right now, this this combination and its form, the it's a dump truck steel crank. You can find them if you can find them. That's what you need if you want to make no, north of safely north of 500. I've been pushing 500 on a stock crank for quite a while. Uh, I, I just didn't know where the limits were, so I just went ahead and put steel crank in this combo. And then the rods, a uh, group of us got together, got Tom Molnar from Molnar Rods to make us some boost rods for these 300. This is one of the first sets. Pistons are TRW pistons from back in the day I found on eBay. Uh, we did a different ring package in it and made some thinner rings and a spacer and they're propane pistons <laughs> for like uh, I'm assuming it was for like uh, irrigation motor and then the cylinder heads a stock cylinder head that's ported and then I did uh, 7 16 rockers uh, studs and scorpion rockers that are underneath the valve covers real simple Carney boost was at 26 pounds it made a full pass or once I spun, we made, we made the pass down the track, went 10.55 at 26 pounds, only 117 mile an hour. I just got done running 125 mile an hour, I think, something like that. With I took it took a lot of boost away just to see what it'd do on the mountain here. Go for the rest of the week is to survive. Try to be consistent. I'm out of fuel because I, I underestimated the power that this motor was going to make. My fueling for this thing is over 700 horsepower. Well, my injectors are for good up to 700 horsepower and my fuel numbers are showing north of 700, 800 horsepower with this setup. Drive it on pump gas yeah, and then methanol for race gas. I really I really enjoy the drag and drive. I've always been a true street guy. So put on some true street events back in the day. I always felt like, you know, all your cars need to be driven. You know, you get to know your car mostly that way. And the reason why I love Rocky Mountain Race Week is Matt and June are just wonderful people. They cater to you. They're they're very nice. They they they'll do anything for you. You know that, that's the great part about it. And I've done five of the Rocky Mountain Race Weeks. One time we did in the 72 Comet. We won 14-0 class. I rode with. Gavin Lusk one year, I rode with Ray Burns one year in his Cougar, uh, and then Reagan and I have done it two years in a row with the wagon. Now, last year didn't go so hot, I had troubles with the cam sink, 
Well, it was a magnetic pickup distributor. Could, just couldn't get it to fire in Kearney. I had to tuck my tail, take it home, and the next day I built this Hall Effect distributor that's in it now, and it's been running great ever since. Oh, the words of advice for people to come and want to do this is, don't procrastinate, do it. You know, plan, plan for it, plan ahead. Just get in and do it. It doesn't matter how fast you go. It doesn't matter how slow you go. It's, it's about enjoying it and spending time with your family and friends. I've had a blast this week. These guys over here, they're, they're fun, <laughs> you know? It's a good time.